What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC moveset guide video. Today we are talking about a Pokemon that has had such a dramatic shift in use cases from when we started with it in series one to what we use it for now and that is Mousehold. This little guy does so much work and I absolutely love it in Regulation C and I really want you guys to understand why. So, if this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this in the future. Let's get into it. So, very quickly, before we get into the video, I want to know your personal preference. Do you prefer Mousehold Family of 3 or Mousehold Family of 4? Obviously, the Family of 3 is a bit more popular because of its rarity. I think the only time that I actually prefer Family of 3 is if it is a shiny version. That makes sense for wanting a Family of 3. But in terms of, like, just Mousehold in general, I prefer the Family of 4. I think just seeing more of them and just knowing, like, they population bomb you, it, it, it's... <laughs> It's pretty funny. Now, I talked about Mousehold recently in a short and how it has changed fundamentally from the start of Scarlet and Violet VGC to what we have now in the current format, where it used to be a wide lens population bomb user because its speed stat is actually pretty good and you're able to outspeed a lot of stuff in Series 1. However, now that is not the case. Fluttermane exists, Bundle exists, so many faster Pokemon exist. So this Pokemon no longer is able to just kind of go out there and do its thing with population bomb. Occasionally, you'll still see it pop up, but the main use of Mousehold now is friend guard friend guard is fantastic it is so freaking good and it gets even better with the ruinous legends and i'm going to explain exactly why in this video now friend guard is super good because this pokemon's allies receive three-fourths of the damage from other pokemon's attacks which is incredible in its own right just having that on the field and being able to deal with opposing pokemon is just so so nice it's so good but pair this next to other pokemon that you know maybe don't take damage all that well or a bulky pokemon that takes hits very well and you just ignore damage altogether it becomes so incredibly powerful now the set that you have here is safety goggles friend guard ghost terra type to avoid fake out shenanigans super fang baby doll eyes follow me and protect baby doll eyes is very nice yes charm is a thing however baby doll's eyes has priority which is great because you can get out there and you can just lower stuff's attack that is going to be a problem for you and not have to worry about it that turn because you're going first you don't have to have speed for that you can just go first the ev spread is as follows 252 hp 252 defense four special defense and a calm nature it is just all around very very good now this is not the normal set that you're seeing. Obviously, there is the beat-up mousehold. The beat-up mousehold pairs great with an Eye and this is still going to be good in series uh, th three. It's just going to be good, regulation C, whatever you want to call it. Beat-up mousehold is still going to be great with an Eye Lape. An Eye is just a Pokemon that lives and thrives. It is strong. It will never not be strong. It is just a good Pokemon. So, mousehold an Eye is something you're still going to see a ton of. However, throw that an Eye out. You don't need it anymore. You don't need it for Mousehold to really thrive. You saw Mousehold pop up with Friend Guard occasionally on other teams, but I would argue that like 90% of the time that you saw Mousehold, you were seeing it with Annihilate. And yes, it's a great teammate. I'm not denying that. It will be good in Regulation C. However, I think that this version of Mousehold is amazing in Regulation C. And let me tell you why. First and foremost, one of the best cores that you're seeing right now is Chi Yu, Fluttermane, and Iron Bundle. This is just an incredibly powerful core because Chiyu lowers the special defense and these two are faster than everything else in the world and you're just doing tons of damage, right? Makes a lot of sense. However, if you consider the fact that Ting Lu now exists, Ting Lu exists, you mitigate the special defense drop that you'd get from a Chiyu, right? You mitigate that, everything goes back to normal and then you put it next to a mouse hold. What do any of these Pokemon do? to a Ting Lu. What do any of them do to Ting Lu? Ting Lu just sits there and eats and Mousel just sits there and use, you know, whatever. It can use uh, Super Fang to lower one. Uh, it can follow me to avoid damage onto Ting Lu. It just doesn't care about these Pokemon anymore, right? Which is incredibly, incredibly powerful in terms of just mitigating this entire core. It just is so freaking good. So for that reason, I think Ting Lu is one of the best teammates for Mousehold right now. I think it's so good. I honestly, it's just crazy. Also, if you think about uh, another really popular combination of Pokemon, uh, Dragonite is seeing so much use with uh, Chien Pao. Super good, right? No denying that that is a really good combination. Throw an Arcanine out. What do they do? What do they do to you? They now are intimidated and your friend guard is up. What what do they do to you, right? You can lay your burn on Dragonite and you can Flare Blitz Chen Pao next turn. That, that's, that's it. You deal with it so incredibly well. So 
I think that this is just really, really solid in terms of teammates. You look at Tinglu, you look at Arcanine. I think Iron Hands will continue to be very good. It, it was already good next to a mouse hold. It will continue to be good. Iron Hands is a Pokemon that is just glue. It does so much. It has great stats. It is just a very solid Pokemon all around. You're going to continue to see it next to things like mouse hold. It plays very well into all the Ruinous Legend Pokemon. You're just going to see Iron Hands pop up. And having that ability to take even less damage next to a mouse hold and then just drain punch stuff back big big benefit for iron hands so i think iron hands and mouse hold is fantastic dragonite is i mean this has been good since like the start of series two putting your dragonite with a multi-scale next to a mouse hold come on i mean come on you are just taking hits left right and center and letting your dragonite eat right it's a really really good combination <laughs> right there it just there's so many things that just put it next to a mouse hold and it takes damage and is fantastic right it's just so good also when you consider a lot of like the stall tech that's going on right now uh with like wo chan uh if you can super fang a wo chan this gets a whole lot more manageable yes they may leech seed you however super fang them the turn they leech seed you protect with the other pokemon right and then just spam follow me over and over and over and over what do they do they can't keep leech seeding you this pokemon becomes useless this pokemon its main thing that it does becomes useless so you super fang it protect with the other pokemon let leech seed you land on whoever it lands on follow me for the rest of the game let the other pokemon deal with this pokemon more effectively and you just you you stop it you stop the wo chan stall right there it's incredible how much you can just ignore wo chan with this and i mean the same could be said for garganackle uh to an extent to an extent you are able to say the same about garganackle um because of the fact that you know you can if this doesn't terra right right now we've gone back to series one and the best terra is ghost for garganackle and as long as this doesn't terra a super fang and then you know just do damage is huge into garganackle because it's slow and it doesn't like it, everything's gonna hit before it so uh, honestly super super good you can just continue to follow me to get more salt cures on yourself because who cares if your mouse hold is salt cured right who cares so garganackle uh doesn't play great into it as long as it doesn't terra now pokemon that really don't like this uh amoongus this is just the amoongus counter uh because you know you just sit out in front of it and you follow me a whole bunch and it, it can't spore anymore and what's among us do if it can't spore nothing not absolutely nothing uh so just something to consider there among us just really doesn't like the existence of safety goggles mouse hold now pokemon you need to be worried about for mouse hold um there's a handful there are i'm not gonna lie there's a handful um iron hands you don't like getting drain punched you really don't that's why you have ghost terra you don't like getting drain punched it's not fun no one enjoys that uh king gambit uh, plays very well because a lot of them are running av these days and you're gonna see like brick break um brick break and then if you do terra ghost to avoid the brick break you're going to then get like assurance or kowtow cleaved or whatever right so um definitely something that you need to be worried about king gambit is going to play incredibly well into the mouse hold opposing chen pows are going to be a problem for you because a lot of them are running like sacred sword um some are running throat chop others are running sucker punch it just depends on the one you're up against but again sacred sword knocks you out if you terra ghost throat chop knocks you out next turn you just have to be very careful playing around a chen pao obviously you can like terra ghost avoid the sacred sword and then go for like uh just protect or something and it just mitigate this because this is weak weak frail this pokemon is not as scary as you think it is it's good i'm not denying that it is super frail so being able to deal with it very effectively is it's pretty easy um so again you just have to play carefully but this pokemon does cause problems for mouse hold so those are my thoughts on the mouse house i love this pokemon it is so good and competitive and it just continues to find new ways to be good right we we move from wide lens population bomb into friend guard safety goggles and it is just continued to be something that is so freaking prevalent in competitive play and i i really like that i think it's so good especially paired next to like a wo chan or a ting lu you're just mitigating damage all around and it's crazy it is absolutely nuts like again i i don't think i mentioned it but i'll bring it up now like wo chan you know obviously doesn't like flutter mains and stuff that do like special attack damage however you know you're lowering the attack already so you know that doesn't affect flutter main but put it next to a mouse hold and you're <laughs> automatically you're just like oh you know i'm not taking anything from this anymore so i really do like 
uh, the ability for Mousel to just pair next to these bulky Pokemon. But if you enjoyed this video at any point, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this every single day. If you want to join a really fun community where people are hanging out, talking Pokemon all the time, check out the Discord where people are just having a good time. It's such a nice community, genuinely. Like, it, it, I'm not just saying that because it's my community. Um, it's genuinely such a strong and like just friendship driven community it's so cool check it out also if you want to see more from me check out this video where i talk about glamora in series three and why it's going to be great check out this video where i talk about gothitelle and why that is going to be great in series three and then check out this video where i used gothitelle in the series two ladder really cool stuff but until next time peace